Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to do a quick video regarding a new piece of software I found from my broker uh, for MetaTrader users. Um, I use Alpari and they have a, uh, I noticed over the weekend they had a program called Auto Chartist available um, to, that's free of charge to all live account holders. I think they have a 14 day trial of it for demo accounts. Um, basically, it projects onto the chart, as you can probably see from the screen. Um, some technical analysis patterns. Now this is something that I've uh, been working on uh, as I highlighted in some of my previous videos. It's something I want to move on to to expand my knowledge. Um, so this is a good starting point for me uh, regarding identifying the technical analysis patterns. Basically all you do, you install the software um, as per the instructions on the website and it loads up as a custom indicator in MetaTrader, which is shows up just around there uh, where the mouse is, it shows up as Auto Chartist Alpari. Uh, so basically all you do, uh, once that's in there, you click it with the left mouse button and drag it across onto your chart. And this custom indicator window pops up and all you need to do is just click OK and it loads it automatically. And once it's on there, it will scan um, the time frame that you're on. For instance, this one is the four hour time frame. It will scan this time frame and then any patterns that it highlights, uh, it'll, it'll basically add them to the chart. So you have um, you have complete patterns and emerging patterns. Now the complete patterns are these ones here. They look like a, a white line, I think, or a, a light blue line. They're the, uh, they're the complete patterns. Yellow lines are the emerging patterns. Uh, and what it will also do is it will add onto the chart another line here, which is a projected sort of target area as to where it expects price to go based off this pattern. These are obviously guidelines, they're not cast in stone, and they differ slightly from what we've been seeing with Phil putting on his shots the way he marks them up. Again, because I'm new to the technical analysis and identifying the patterns, I'm not sure whether there's a, a, a correct set in stone way or whether it's a case of it's based on interpretation of the charts. Because if we look at um, the way that we've been looking at Phil's videos regarding the pound dollar, for instance, on the four hour chart, the trend lines have been taken from these areas here like that so they're connecting that low to the next lowest swing low is how i would think about it whether i'm correct in saying that i, I really don't know so they give slightly different uh slightly different angles you can see i'll just put some uh, trend lines on here based off this pattern so you can see the line that i've just put on is is a slightly different look at where the channel is based off what we've been seeing with Phil compared to the way that this auto chart is program is marking those channel lines up so like I said I don't know whether this is uh, marking technical analysis things like this on the charts is a cast iron set in stone way or whether it is a method that's open to interpretation on how on where you actually start your uh, channel lines or trend lines from that's something that is still a bit of a gray area and a bit fuzzy for me on where you actually start and where you connect the dots to make these uh, to make these lines that's something i'm i'm looking at to see if i can get an idea of, of where things are going this is how the interface window looks when you first set up you get every single currency pair it loads up uh, but if you go to the little pencil mark there that gives you a custom search pattern so i've just basically told it to search for the pairings at idle six pairings uh, so it goes on the all intraday levels so it goes on pretty much every time frame that loads up click on uh, weekly uh, see it comes up with that there tell me that that time frame isn't supported daily uh, daily is fine so it works on daily so daily is sort of the, the highest time frame that it works on at the moment and 15 minutes is the lowest one from what i found uh, so you can, I mean, you can see what it did there, changing from the four hour to the daily. 
uh, we'll go up to the one hour see the top it says waiting and streams everything uh, streams all your data and then it marks off the patterns on the chart uh, what you can see in the top left corner um, around this area it gives you some information on obviously what pair you're using the time frame uh, they're the high low open and close prices it gives you details of the last completed pattern to be identified um, it highlights the name so it was a, a channel a down channel so a bear channel it was a continuation uh, uh, trend of of the down move so that was a continuation basically the red arrows there signaling where it would expect uh, short levels to be so it's as a continuation pattern uh, the quality there is how likely how strong that pattern is like I said, I'm not 100% um, on this I've only just installed it the last couple of days so I still need to go through the instructions or tutorials and mess around with it and play around with it uh, but we can see there underneath the uh, complete pattern there it, it details similar details the last emerging pattern uh, it's calling that a, a falling wedge and it's a, again it's a continuation pattern and it tells you the quality of the pattern uh, so that's the way that the auto chartist works it's like I say, it's good for me seeing where something else would um, sort of mark up these lines but just from looking at this one hour chart I can see where it's marked up these yellow lines um, as a channel but again I would look at that now because I've, I've got some initial visual aid to help me and I don't know whether I would take it from that line there so that swing high to the next highest um, swing high there will be where I would mark it up from so this is what I'm saying with I'm a bit sort of unsure in a bit of a grey area as to where you you mark it up from so but I'm going to continue playing with it and, and hopefully it'll just give me a sort of direction to go in and somewhere to start my learning from and just just help me basically see these patterns on the charts really so I'm going to carry on looking at this and see where it takes me so that's just a quick rundown of the auto chartist indicator for meta trader users